As battlefield weapons continue to evolve, so too must the methods for detecting them. The biggest challenge uh, nowadays is to detect slow-moving targets at low altitudes and also to detect very fast targets like hypersonic targets. What we are observing in the last mouse, uh, there are many not identified targets which enter to the NATO space, especially at eastern flank, at eastern border. NATO radar scientists, researchers and members of industry have been studying methods of using passive radars and satellite signals to help police the airspace. For the first part of the trial, the group measured the signal bouncing off a drone from a satellite in order to detect, identify and classify the drone. If we could detect and track uh, these drones in an early stage, we could eliminate them ourselves before it can cross the border of the country and can do any harm to our, our own countries. So it's a big advantage that we can do this with passive radar because the enemy does not know whether you are receiving the signals and where you are located. So they cannot destroy your system and they do not know uh, that they are being detected or not. With conventional radar, you have an uh, antenna transmitter that transmits an electromagnetic wave in pulses. You transmit a pulse and you, the pulse will reflect against a target like an airplane or a drone or a ship. It will, will reflect back and you will receive it. Based on the reflection and the timing, you can estimate the range of the target. And based on the uh, frequency, based on the Doppler shift, you can also estimate the velocity of the target. Here, we're trying to use passive radar. With passive radar, we do not transmit pulses ourselves, but we exploit signals that are already there in the outside world. These signals can be uh, ground-based, coming from ground-based transmitters, like broadcast signals, like uh, television or radio signals, but can also originate from uh, satellite transmitters. And that is what we're trying to exploit this week, to see whether we can make use of the satellite signals to detect targets, estimate the distance to the target, and also estimate the velocity of the target. The idea basically is to validate you know, the use of satellite uh, as illuminators of opportunity for passive radar, specifically Starlink, OneWeb, iSight, so these new kind of LEO satellites that are now deployed, so basically how to exploit them to use in passive radar technology or systems. There are many active radar. We already demonstrated that they are useful and working well, but in case of um, difficult uh, environment situation, when you don't have the possibility to use active radar, but you will always have uh, some illuminator opportunity coming from the satellite. So it will be very interesting to uh, continue to investigate in this field in order to get more uh, information on how they are working and how we can exploit them. For the next part of the trial, the group moved on to the river to test their ability to classify a potential target using satellites while on water. What we hope to achieve today with our measurements is to be able to make a passivizer image from a moving platform. This is something that has not been demonstrated before, so it would be like a world premiere and we are really looking forward to a successful measurement campaign today. We are here today on the Rhine to do some measurements with our Sabia system that you can see on the back. Uh, we are on the Mustang ship and uh, the goal of the measurements today is to make some ISAR measurements while moving off a ferry that is uh, crossing the river. Uh, we have a passive radar that uh, uh, basically exploits some satellite illuminators and uh, exploits the reflection from the satellite to the target and we receive that with our system. With this passive radar, we want to do a radar image of the ship. So we have here the Sabia system. The reference antenna is pointed toward the satellite, in this case, geostationary Astra satellite. And this is the surveillance antenna, which we keep pointing toward the target. And as any other passive radar, 
we make a cross correlation between the signals that we receive at the reference and at the surveillance channel. By this cross correlation we can detect target and given the high bandwidth that we have with satellite illuminators we can also do uh, imaging of the targets. We believe that passive radar is a key technology uh, to uh, maintain uh, supremacy in uh, maritime uh, scenarios and this is uh, of crucial importance uh, for all NATO countries. The final part of the trial took place from an elevated position over the River Rhine. The group used the signals given off by a satellite to make a radar image of the area. Here we basically have two different setups that we've integrated, so one from TNO, one from Fraunhofer. Uh, the first is our little setup, so we have these two antennas, one open-ended waveguide and one horn antenna for a surveillance channel. And then, so here on the right, you have the, the Kimeda tracking antenna by Fraunhofer. So it basically steers the beam towards satellites to track them. And this is used as a reference channel. And then they have this small horn antenna connected to a low noise block, which acts as their surveillance channel. But that's basically it. So just one acquisition system and two different antenna setups. With these trials, we really want to see whether it's possible to, to use these uh, satellite signals, which are very advantageous because satellites are everywhere. So you can put your system everywhere in the world, even on a ship middle of the ocean or in Arctic regions or on the border of Ukraine and uh, Russia, and you can use it uh, without being detected by the enemy. This uh, passive radar technology is, I think, is quite important for governments right now, as we can see through the wars that we saw in the past years in Ukraine. If you switch on an active radar, it will be destroyed in, within 10 minutes. You, you will have a missile in, in the side. So using this passive technology is more harder for the enemy to locate our position. Only they can locate us if they see us within the soldiers or maybe with the satellite images. But as we are not transmitting, it's harder for them to locate these systems. This week of the NATO Armisto Trials was very successful for our NATO SCT-320 uh, research task group on the new frontiers in modern passive radars. We collect many different signals from many different space uh, illuminators. We have plenty of data for further analysis to create the results. And it's also great collaboration among different pa partners from different NATO nations. In this particular trials has taken part the Poland, the Germany, the Netherlands and also Spain. And uh, we have really great co collaboration and we'll further work on the exploiting the passive radar technology. The radar is the technology which can protect our civilians and protect our sky.